www.openfrontagelandsenvy.com This site is going to be one stop site for all the exam sites. Exam that is going to be a destination for students, exam days, preparation tips, video tutorials, exam packages, exam syllabus, assessment class, FAQ, mock online test, solve testing papers, results, model testing papers, notifications, study materials, and exam patterns. Regarding LDD interfacing with 8051. And before that, in last few sessions, we have seen 8051 based on so many videos like 8051 timers, instruction set, aggressive limits, and we have learned how to program using all those things. So now we'll see how LED is interfaced with 8051 videos. The main contents what I'm going to cover in this PPT is the salient features of an LED and what's mean by an LED, the symbol, symbolic representation of LED and the configurations available for LED. Now LED is interfaced with 8051 and see coding using embedded system. We'll see all those things in this video one by one. And now the features of an LED. The main feature of the LED is the life of a device is more. The lifetime of LED is more compared to fluorescent lamp and incandescent lamp. The power consumption of LED is less compared to previous lamps like incandescent and fluorescent lamp. Because of less power consumption, the electric bill is reduced. And before like an incandescent and fluorescent lamp, by to replace the, those lamps with LED, we no need to buy any additional materials. So we can replace directly just that lamps with LED. So we can replace with existing lightings. And um, incandescent lamp and fluorescent lamp it gets out of LED, uh, ultraviolet rays, but in LED it is no need to worry of ultraviolet rays. It is low compared to those two lamps. And because of less power consumption, it is eco-friendly while disposing LED. We saw the main features of the LED. And we we'll see the video, what's mean by an LED? LED is nothing but everyone knows LED in the sense it is light emitting diode. This is a common abbreviation, we know everyone what it means. And what is mean by an LED actually? actually when an electric current is passed, it emits light. That's the meaning of LED. So it emits a light radiation when an electric current is passed. In, in ancient days, we used to have LED with only red color. But later, later, modern, modernly they developed with red color, blue color and green color. And recently, more advanced LED technologies they develop in white color also. So nowadays LED is available with so many colors. And LED is mainly used for indicating purposes. And the symbol of LED is the image shows the symbol for LED. Anode and cathode. Anode is represented with plus symbol and cathode is represented with minus symbol. This is the symbolic representation of LED. These two images show the symbolic representation of LED. The configurations for LED. We have two types of configurations regarding LED. One is common anode and one more is common cathode. Common anode is also called as active load. When zero is passed to microcontroller, then it indicates the LED is on when you are using common anode. It seems active low. So when zero is passed in case of active low from microcontroller, it indicates LED is on. When one is passed in case of common anode from microcontroller, it indicates LED is off. This is regarding to common anode configuration. If you people are using the common cathode, it is just opposite to common anode. It is also called as common cathode, it is also called as active eye. 
If view is passed from microcontroller in case of common cathode, it indicates LED is in off state. So if one is passed from microcontroller, it indicates LED is in on state in case of common cathode. These are the two configurations most commonly used in LED configuration. The default everyone used to have common anode. Based on our use, we can go for common cathode also. In now LED is interfaced with 8051. This picture represents the representation of LED. This is seven segment. Seven LEDs used together. It is called a seven segment display. This LED is interfaced with microcontroller 8051 microcontroller. Here port zero is used for interfacing with this seven segment display. So this is the interfacing of LED with microcontroller. How it is interfaced? This picture clearly represents. This is a seven segment LEDs. So each LED is connected with each port. Here port zero is preferred, but based on our use, we can go for any of the ports. Based on the duality nature and the features of 851 ports, we can select the ports where we have to give. And simple embedded coding for this video is. I have taken how LED mix is made on and off continuously. And the first line ash include register 51.h. It represents all SFR related special function related addresses are present in, in this header files. Register 51.h. Here all SFR special function re register addresses are present in this header files. You have taken LED as a single data type, so S bit. I preferred S bit. S bit is one of the data type. If you are going for single bit, then that I have connected to port zero. So this this one LED I have taken and I have connected to port zero. And this is delay declaration I have declared before me. And after me, in my loop. I am initializing that LED, this declared LED as 0 initially. So it indicates it is in off state. Initially LED is in off state. I am giving some delay to see the on and off states of LED, glow and off. So when it is in off, I am giving a delay of 1000. This is also a function call. This will be explained back side of this slide. So with some delay, I am going for LED 1. So now LED is made on. So we have to see the on state of LED. So once again I am giving a delay. But all these are represented in while 1. So we can see the continuous on and off of LEDs with some delay. To see the on and off we are going for delay. So how much delay? Here I have given 1000 seconds. So for if you want more delay to see more more delay between on and off, you can go for more delay. This is a simple example for LED on and off continuously. If you want to see the LED on and off continuously, then you can go for this program. And the delay, what I have used here is 1000 seconds. So for that, the delay program I have written. This is a function definition for whatever I have called in that main program. Here, I have taken an unsigned character, character everyone knows it is 1 byte, actually 1 byte is enough for declaration. Here I have taken loop, in that I have rotated to dummy for loop. So according to my wish, 1000 milliseconds seconds is generated. This is a simple program for seeing how LED is made on and off continuously, just for understanding purpose. And thank you for watching this video.